So we're just doing an assessment of this Yamaha G1, circa 1989, five foot three. Um, assess, I've assessed it pretty well now. The uh, casework is in one of the best conditions I've seen. No knocks, can't, I mean, this is quite dusty, we haven't cleaned this yet. You can see there's some fine, fine scratches, which we could easily buff out. Um, the strings are in pretty good condition as well, as you expect from 1989. The tune is up to A440 pitch. But we are going to have to alter the touch, because the regulation we've I've already done. I don't know if you can see that hammer there. I've done that one, so the resting point is slightly higher than its neighbours. So I've done that because that is lessening the blow. The blow is far too deep with quite a few mil. So that really does affect the touch. So I'm going to go through and do all those. The springs are in great. If you watch the hammer, it should just rise up. There we go. So the springs are in great condition. I am going to reface the hammers as well. As you can see on there, there are, I think you can just catch it on there. Can we zoom in? Yeah, you can just see the grooves. I can't quite focus on that. Can I focus on that? No, I can't. There are slight grooves in the nose of the hammer, so we're going to tone those and get those nice and flat. So it's a nice even tone. And um, that's about it with this one. Um, so really looking forward to getting this finished um, and available because these are extremely popular and we don't expect this to hang around very long. So the hat, the dampers, they are lifting bang on correctly. We just there we go, just lifting just over halfway. That's great. <laughs> And they are all lifting together as well. So that's lovely. So the pedals are four and a half centimeter height from the floor, which is a normal height for those. The key bed is 62 centimeters from the floor so plenty of room for those six footers lots of room i'm not six foot i'm five foot nine but you see plenty of room also from the key bed soundboard's in immaculate condition there are no splits in it at all anywhere it's been really kept in good condition so structurally sound and it's this piano came in locally so not too far away from us and the guy was moving abroad um, so that's how we've managed to get hold of this one and don't come like I say they don't come on the market very often we had one other in last year and that went quite quickly they're just really really popular the Yamahas baby grounds very popular indeed so I've just taken the action out and you can see where I've already done the space which is the blow on the middle section here they're all level now and at the right height but you can see where I'm gonna go now the, this one which you see the highest one there that one there that's set to the right height and you can see the massive difference in blow with how it was you can see the one I've set up as a guide down there that's a big difference and that's going to make the playing absolutely awful and it also in time can create extra wear and tear on the action as well so really important to uh, look out for that but it's pretty hard for most people to measure that and get the idea for that you're going to need a technician so also we've put 55 grams on our key weight and um, looks pretty good. It's the first time we've been trying it. That's 
pretty even all the way in the middle. Getting slightly slower in the base as you'd expect. A lot of pianos do this. Probably slightly over 55 grams, we'd expect. A lot of the, the Kawaii GL30 we've got in brand new, that's 54 grams. But that's pretty good for a, what is a 30 year old piano. They all do seem pretty even. Possibly a little bit sluggish. So I can probably take the keys off and lubricate the pins and get the, some of these will improve because there's really not much in it. You can see that going down sharps. Yeah, a little lubrication and we get that sorted out. Very slow. 